Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Necessary Realness. I can't do anything about my hair. This is just the way it's going to look for today's episode. But today we are going to be focusing on Get Real with Morgan. So I have your questions with my... I have your question. Cool. I have your questions with my phone with my name on it. You're going to get real with me. I'm going to read them now. All right. Priscilla Venega says, where do you see yourself in 10 years and does it include new hobby and kids? Definitely includes children for sure. Definitely includes a consistent partner, whether that's a husband. Well, probably be a husband. I mean, I'll definitely have a ring by that point. It's probably yes. The answer is yes. And I think I will still be doing the same thing. I think I will continue to progress and evolve and get better at my craft and have my own show one day, which is just already in the cards. We know that. With a lot of hard work, by the way, I say that so like late, like this, this not easy. Mark Lewis says, what is the biggest misconception about you? I think people don't necessarily think that I'm very nice. I think people think I'm probably a little bit meaner and bitchier and not as sensitive as I am, but I'm actually very polite and sweet. Mm, Sweet's a stretch. Oh my God, I'm sorry. That was aggressive. I'm polite and friendly and welcoming. I'm not the sweetest person, but I think people think I'm like mean and like cold hearted and I am not. Glynis Martin, Martin Newsen. I hope I didn't butcher that. I know I did. What is your biggest fear? Being trapped in a confined space, like in an elevator or a tanning bed. Ooh, very claustrophobic. I don't like that at all. And I don't really like spiders. I actually really don't like spiders. I know typical, but I don't like spiders. Kenza Smalley says, do you have advice on how and where to find an ambitious and stable man? Are any of them really stable? Even if you're with them, they're all a little crazy. I just think you should probably surround yourself with people who are like-minded like you and you'll be introduced to the right person. That's my advice. Laura Roberts says, were you named after a famous TV actress? love your name. I was not named after Morgan Fairchild, but love her and actually ran into her at lunch one time and did say, hey girl. And then she like smiled. That was really the end of that. But no, I was not named after anybody. This question I get all the time. So I'm just going to answer it. John Smith says, how tall are you? I am five, six on the dot, not an inch taller and not an inch shorter. It is literally five, six on the dot. People always think I'm a lot taller than that, but five, six is tall. It's not like short, but it's not like, I'm not like five, eight. Raniel Drummond says, when did you start getting really serious about fashion? You are so knowledgeable, but at the same time feels like you don't take it too seriously. I love that about you. Thank you so much because I don't take it too seriously. I just really enjoy clothes. I enjoy fashion. I enjoy being able to express yourself through clothes. They excite me. I like to think that I have a kind of a specific eye, but I'm not really trying to do too much. I'm pretty classic when it comes to my taste. And yeah, I just kind of put things together. It's really just an effortless vibe with me. I'm not like in a crop top with like the jeans and the hair and the shoes and jewelry like I just I like to just be a little bit more laid back so I appreciate you noticing that thank you Yvonne Lopez says your blonde hair looks great but would you ever dye your hair another color like a light or dark brown no not until I do my nose thank you I've already made that mistake and it is kind of brown rooty these roots came out of nowhere I don't even know what happened it was like three weeks it was like what Jean d'Arc. Hey Morgan, would you ever consider doing a necessary realness tour a bit bit around the world in some cities, countries? I would love to do that. Maybe we'll all go on the road, guys. Other peers of mine have gone around and done comedy tours. I would love to do something like that. Getting on stage is a little scary, but I would overcome that if it was necessary realness. Sophie and Buddy forever. Okay. Um, Asked, if you came with a warning label, what would it say? Oh my God, this is like my real housewife's tagline. It would say parental advisory. <laughs> Um, All right, and Jewel writes, what's the first thing you want to do when life goes back to normal? I really just would love to travel and feel safe at the same time. Go to Europe, go to an ocean, be able to just like be amongst the people. Like, I don't care. Just something feeling like I'm not like constantly having to like, like we all feel as caged in as we do right now. So we'd probably just travel. Mago Medina says, what kind of old person do you think you'll be? Retirement home lady, Florida lady? You are not looking at a Florida lady. I think I'm probably going to be a older version of myself. I think I'm going to be pretty active and probably pretty normal. You know, like I'm going to have children who are older at that point, maybe grandkids. I think I'll probably work for most of my life. I would like to have a career that spans decades if you guys will have me. I definitely think that I will be working until my old age, even though I'll complain about being tired the whole time. There is a brand new episode of Necessary Realness every Saturday, so make sure you what? Subscribe. Subscribe, okay? Did I say subscribe? Don't forget to do that. Subscribe. And make sure you check out all of the other videos on the E! News YouTube channel because they are all fabulous.